Hey guys, middle of the pack runner Bill here. Today I'm going to do a accuracy test of the Garmin Fenix 5's wrist heart rate monitor, okay? And I'm going to compare the data collected to my trusty uh, heart rate strap, okay? And since this strap has four different sensors on the back and it essentially goes right onto your chest, this thing is insanely accurate, okay? And I'll pair this with my Garmin Fenix 3 for the data, okay? So without further ado, let's get to the tests. All right, the first test we're gonna do is a low intensity uh, test where, for example, just watching TV, or in this case, where I'm just sitting in front of my computer with my uh, Fenix 3 on the right, hooked up to the heart rate strap, and uh, the Fenix 5 on the left, uh, using the wrist heart rate monitor. As you can see from the numbers, they are very similar to each other. They're only a big difference of uh, plus or minus two. So uh, in situations like this where nothing is really happening, uh, the wrist heart rate uh, monitor on the Fenix 5 is actually very, very accurate. For the next test, I took the watches outside for a walk or a hike up a little bit of a hill. Um, I recorded data for about 700 meters and as the footage shows here, we're in the middle of the hike now and the numbers are very similar. Um, once again, within two or three heartbeats of each other and the heart, wrist heart rate is actually holding up very well to the uh, heart rate strap. Looking at the data from the 700 meter hike, I was surprised to find that the Fenix 5's average heart rate was 99 beats per minute, while the Fenix 3's was only 95 beats per minute. So there's a big difference of uh, 4 beats per minute actually, while you know the footage on the right, you can see that the numbers are very similar to each other. Upon further inspection, the anomaly actually happens at the beginning of the hike, and since the footage uh, on your right is actually of the hike in the middle, we didn't actually see these numbers jump out. So the 4 beats per minute difference uh, can be attributed to the Fenix 5 recording elevated heartbeats at the beginning for a longer period of time. Okay, we'll take a look at what all this means a little bit later, but for now, why don't we take it up to a steeper hill and uh, elevate our heartbeat a little bit more and see what the readings are. Okay, I'm going uphill as I regularly would run or hiking and my hands are at the side like they would usually be. So let's check out Let's check out what the reading is now for the heart rate after I uh, tighten up the strap. All right, here we go. Oh wow, exactly the same. So for the heart rate monitor, wrist heart rate monitor to work perfectly, it's best to tighten it up really tight as you can see from the side. And I'm sweating significantly and uh, still seems to be working fine. Well, that's good news. The numbers are pretty good. So I get to the top and then I, we level off a little bit. I slow down and this is what happens next. Yeah, something is very odd here. It's actually not going back down as quickly as it should, um, the heart rate. So I don't know what that is about, but it was working earlier. Again, the heart rate strap is, or sorry, the, the watch is pretty tight on my wrist, so it can't be the looseness or anything like that. I'll continue to test and see where it is. Ow, there, there we go. Actually, we're almost the same now, so it's basically caught up. Um, I guess it takes a little bit of time for the wrist heart rate monitor to catch up to the heart rate strap. Um, let's see what happens if I run it. Let's see what happens again if I start, when I start running at regular speed, regular arm movements. Okay, try to get my heart rate up and uh, let's see what happens or what the reading is. Woo, this is tough stuff. Okay, I gotta be careful. All right, looks like we should check it right now. After this, uh, okay. Okay, so as I came to a walk, basically the heart rate monitor on my chest was telling me that my heart heartbeat was about 160 beats per minute, which is, you know, correct, I think, because I was running pretty hard there for myself. And while on the Fenix 5, the reading was about a 10, 12 beats per minute slower. Um, as I continued on to walk down the hill, um, they essentially, what happened was the Fenix 5 actually caught up and surpassed the uh, heart rate strap. So it was actually now 10 beats higher than the heart rate strap. So basically this tells me that 
Um, it, it does take a little bit of time for the wrist heart rate monitor to actually come back up or down depending on your heart rate. Um, uh, but eventually it does actually come back to you know uh, per perfect readings when you slow down and, and when you're not doing so much uh, intensive work. Um, I did one more of test of this uh, right after this so basically this is what happened again and but at the end it was a different result. Let's take a look. Alright guys I slowed down significantly um, my heart rate's gone down to well according to my chest strap uh, 93 and my wrist rate 130 so it's really odd actually sometimes it's very um, different in terms of the two readings and sometimes it's spot on um, I don't know I'm gonna try to run one more time regularly and see where this takes us um, so let's go check it out one second Ideally, I want to get my heart rate up to about, I don't know, 130, 140, 150. And then we'll see where the rating, uh, readings are for the heart rate. Now, as you can see, I'm running regularly. My arm's swinging at the side. Um, I'll stop in about a few minutes, or not a few minutes, a few sec uh, 15 more seconds or so. And we'll check out the rate, uh, readings. Um, going downhill, so better be careful. And it's starting to rain. So, better get home soon. Okay, let's see where the reading is, reading is right now. Wow, unbelievable. Exactly the same. So, oh wow, the rain's coming down now. Yep, the rains came and I had to end the filming short, but let's analyze the data. So, um, the red lines basically is my heartbeat and you can see in the background the silhouette of the elevation profile of the run. Now, the important data here is the average heart rate uh, beats per minute. Now, there's a six uh, beats per minute difference between the wrist heart rate monitor and the heart rate strap monitor. Now, uh, this can be attributed to the circles here where the heart rate continued to be high even though I was going downhill. And if you look at the heart rate strap information, the heart rate actually went back down quickly. Again, this tells us that it just takes a little bit more time for the uh, wrist heart rate monitor to catch up to what your heart is actually doing. So in conclusion, the Garmin Fenix 5 wrist heart rate monitor is very accurate when it comes to monitoring your heart uh, during your sleep or when you're working or even when you're walking. However, when you are doing more intensive workouts um, where your heart beats are fluctuating uh, up and down very quickly, it does take a little bit of time for the wrist heart rate to catch up to what your heart is doing. Unlike the strap where it almost takes an instantaneous um, measurement of what your heart is doing and it gives it to you right away, it does take a bit of time, could be from 10 to 30 seconds to a minute I guess, uh, before the wrist uh, heart rate monitor actually catches up to what your heart is doing. Um, so in the end, you know, for me I don't usually I don't like the the comfort of the, the the strap and I don't like to wear it when I'm racing or actually when I'm training so the wrist heart rate actually will do for me I mean yes I will probably have to take into consideration that if I you know run up and down or, or, or if my heart rate goes up and down really quickly it does take a little bit of time to catch up but I think the 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 um, that trumps basically wearing an uncomfortable strap um, if I really need perfect numbers, I will wear the strap to, you know, doing during training if I need to, you know, get some um, information that way, uh, perfect information, uh, then I will do so. But otherwise, this will do. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and, you know, watch my other videos. Thank you very much. Have a good day.